students at Alki Middle School have been using iPads in class for almost a year now. And while it's changed how kids are learning, it's also changed how teachers are teaching. It gives me a whole new variety of tools to use that maybe weren't at the, my fingertips before. With devices and apps, teachers can spend less time lecturing, leaving more time for students to take responsibility for their own learning. So we use it from start of class to finish, the kids walk in, they open up, they go to their online planner, and we go through the step, steps of the day, the, the goals, the targets, and what we're going to do that day. Some of the changes are about simplifying a teacher's workflow. 90 to 95 percent of my work is turned in online. I haven't made a photocopy since the first week of school. Other changes are about teachers allowing student voice and choice, such as how they demonstrate what they've learned. A good example is like the four-point scale. A three is passing, whereas four is going beyond. And the students now know that, and with the standards based, they can then take their, what they know they're supposed to do and go beyond that, and oftentimes blow me away on what they're doing and saying they meet my goals but then go beyond because not because they have to but because the assignment has allowed them or the iPad or the technology has allowed them to express themselves in all new ways. Teachers like Matt Greco and Carolyn Connors are leading the way in their building, helping other teachers incorporate the technology into their lesson plans. And there's so many endless possibilities that that's exciting to me as a teacher who loves to plan but it's also exciting for the students because there's so many ways that we can use the tool that we haven't even just, I mean, we just touched the surface of it. For In the Know, I'm Amanda Richter.